One term you see bounced around a lot by boat salespeople is dead rice, especially when comparing different makes and models from dealer to dealer. You should totally buy your boat for me because our boat has way more dead rice than the other guys. That old boy doesn't know dead rice from dead fruit flies. He doesn't know what he's talking about. You should definitely buy this boat for me. Who cares about dead rise, bro? Dead rise in my eyes is getting that perfect shape, that perfect lift off the wake on the boat when you're wake surfing a sweet roller. Most every salesperson's gonna have a different, unique definition of what dead rise is or isn't, but let's talk about exactly what it does mean. Well, my name is Brandon Johnson and welcome to Use Boats TV. In today's video, we're gonna answer this question specifically to see if it's even something that you should be concerned of based on where you boat at. You know, what environment you like to use your boat in. We're also gonna do a little experiment towards the end of the video that's gonna show you exactly how a sharper dead rise can affect ride quality in rough water conditions. But first, I'd like to introduce our channel. I've been passionately selling boats for over 19 years. The purpose of this channel is to help you and your family enjoy boats and boating just as much as my family and I enjoy it. So thanks to the help of my staff here at Heart and Marine and my sons, we've been able to successfully upload hundreds of boat reviews, instructional operation, help, and how-to videos. I don't ask for anything in return except for the opportunity to possibly help you find a boat in your time frame. So to stay up on everything Everybody we upload, click that subscribe button below and stay tuned. Nice. Getting right into it. Dead rise is basically the angle of which your hull extends from its keel measured against a flat horizontal plane. Now that you know the definition, this video really should be over, right? Well, hold on just one minute, not so fast. Put your clickers down because this measurement can actually be very misleading. You see, there are three places the measurement could potentially come from. Number one, transom, two forward, about midship, maybe hair above. Number three, at the bow. Or it could be measured at any spot on the transom. The issue here is that you'll have a varying angle on most all fiberglass boat, boats versus most aluminum boats have just a true angle. We're gonna use this boat as an example. So the manufacturer's specs says it's 20 degrees. 20 degrees where though? If we come right here from the keel, and we apply it flat, it's perfectly flat, we only got 17 degrees. If we continue to go up, now we're at, let's get it nice and flat, 14 degrees, because we're in the, a reverse chine area. But if we come out here, just inside our chine, which is our flat edge, we have, get it nice and flat, 20 degrees, just as advertised. What I'm getting at here is, if a sharp V is important to you, it's probably a good thing to download an app that reads um, angles or even measure it yourself because believing what you're reading can be very misleading. It was my great grandpa James, he wasn't my great grandpa, but my grandpa James had always said, boy, you can read bad stuff about Jesus by reading on the internet, it doesn't make it true. There are obviously many ways this can be measured or interpreted. In my experience, the boats that ride the best in rough chop have the sharpest dead rise at the transom angle. And the sharpest dead rise at the transom angle should be measured at the very back of the boat, just inside the reverse chine. So you have your whole sides that come down at the hole, then the chine that comes up, then the hole continues. So the higher the number, it's drastically better cutting through rough water. Uh, You'll see that it doesn't slam and slap, it cuts and continues. It's common sense in a lot of ways. For many years I noticed when I tell a customer this boat has one more degree of dead rise than this boat over here, they would look at me and just pretty much completely disregard everything I was saying because it was just one number. Uh, for this reason, I always try to explain it maybe a little better. Remember. If your dead rise is sharper in the back, it only continues to grow sharper as it goes forward from aft to bow, from stem to stern, however you wanna say it. Because if it didn't do that, it would make for one ugly looking boat. Here in a moment, I'm gonna conduct just a basic, simple little experiment to show what a higher dead rise does for the ability to cut through rough chop while boating. 
But first, it is equally as important to understand the reverse side of having a sharp deep V hole. You see, the higher the dead rise, typically the less lateral stability that you'll have while coving out, basically. A deck boat will typically always have a lower transom angle, so a lower dead rise. They may not cut through great big rough waves nearly as easy, but they will sit extremely stable when you and your family are out there coving out, enjoying the sun, and listening to some tunes. On the flip side, a true bow rider will in fact cut through rough waves easier. However, it won't set near as stable while you're out there coving out, drinking some juice, Listen to the gin and juice. With all these things considered, I hope you can see that the higher your dead rise is, the greater the ability to cut through rough waves. However, something to consider though, if 51% of your boating experience, your time out there on the water actually moving and maneuvering, doesn't consist of fighting great big rollers, then really dead rise is something that shouldn't be nearly as important to you. Nearly important to you as an environment where you know the waves are real rough and big all the time. One thing we can definitely agree upon, everything up until this point has been really just words. A lot of common sense, a little common sense, and a lot of words. So here, let's close with a quick little simple experiment to show you exactly what I'm talking about in regards to how the sharper the V, the better the cut through the rough waves. So for the experiment, it really doesn't get any more difficult than this. The less dead rise, the less of an angle you have at the bottom of your boat to cut through rough waves. You know, something like this. And then a boat that's sharper underneath cuts through the waves like this. So what we're going to do is show you the exact difference between a flatter bottom with less dead rise versus a nice sharp deep V. Let's see what the flat bottom will do. That's a backbreaker. Now let's see what the sharp deep V will do. Any more questions? Now that we know what dead rise really is and isn't, you can determine yourself how much of an important factor it may or may not be uh, for your decision in regards to your next boat. To help you even further in the description below, I've included a link to a video where I specifically try to help you find the perfect size and style boat for you and your family. Also down in the description, there's a bunch of different links on how marine financing works, boat insurance tips, how to dock boats, tie ropes, etc etc so be sure to check those out if you're interested once again my name is brandon johnson thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you on the water but first it's this boat is an exact example of that the factory advertisement is the getting right getting right into it dead right uh, we're gonna use this boat as an example to really show you what I'm talking about with variable dead rise, advertised dead rise, et cetera, where you can measure and, and how the different, the different number, oh yeah. Or it could be measured at any spot on the transom. Now that you know the definition, the video should be over, right? Well, not so fast, my friend. <sighs> now I wanna show you a Perfect ex getting right into it. Basically, dead rise is basically of which your hole, the angle of which your hole rises from the keel measured against the flat horizontal plane. Basically, the angle of which your hole rises from the keel, rises from the keel against the flat horizontal plane.